that blooming MSR Velo thing, whatever it is, still leaks like a bloody sieve. And that's the new, well, that's the new one they sent me. Although it's been a couple of years that since I tried it, because, well, things happened last year <coughs> that prevented me from trying it out. So, yeah, I've got a message off somebody today saying that they've got one and there's leaks as well. Um, I, I really don't get MSR, what, what they think they're doing. I mean, how can you sell a tent that isn't even waterproof? And from what I've seen, it's certainly not just me or an odd few people. But, hey, people keep buying it, I suppose. Same as I do, I keep using it. But, never mind. Right. That's me rant over with. I'm going now. Goodbye. It's been two years since I last updated um, on the MSR Hubber Hub. Or two ten. Um, uh, basically, I was on my uh, fourth ten, um, which turned out to leak as well. Um, so since then, I've seam sealed it, but I'm not actually a chance to try it out. So uh, rain's forecast for tonight, so we put it up and we'll see what happens. Um, I'm actually well. Whether you can see, but. It is unsealed all the way along on those points. Um, I've done it on these toggle bits, um, but actually uh, they're all on the outside. Um, look. Have a look at. Um, I did actually do it last year, but um, despite being away on tours for quite a lot, it, I never actually got to use it in the rain. So, like I say, we put it up today and we'll see what happens in the garden. See, sealed along the door as well, because that was one of the main areas where it was leaking. Um, you can't see, but it is actually done on me inside as well it doesn't look pretty i must admit but if it works who cares all right we'll we'll see what happens overnight well it's been raining all night um the tent's been up in the garden um i didn't sleep in it i couldn't be bothered um Let's go and have a look and see whether it's leaked or not. Um, it's still raining now. Well, <laughs> you can see um, how the material just has stretched and it went. Um, right, let's just tighten that up. I mean, that is stretched so that I think that is a lot of the problems with it. Right. Let's have a look. Um, initial signs are quite good. Um, I mean, that was one of the main areas and around the door, uh, it's leaking there still a bit, but that's not that bad. Right, let's open the tent, inner tent. Right. Let's 
see how it's going on in here. Alright. Well, that seems to have stayed um, dry. Um, the toggles that were leaking, um, I've cured all of them, apart from that one. So, I'll, when it's dry, I'll put um, some more sealant on. Um, now, I have just noticed that it is leaking there and there. Um, to be honest, um, it's a big improvement as to what it was, but I um, don't think I should have had to have done it in the first place, but I hope it, it is what it is. So, yeah, well, at least we know it's half dry now. Well, I lie. Um, I've just noticed that is soaking and so is that and look as you can see it's obviously been dripping um well i'll change what i just said um it looks as if there's no saving um this tent it's just going to leak no matter what you do disappointing <laughs>